Let's start next part of cosmic rays. First part covers the directional effect of cosmic rays. Unfortunately, a muon created as a result of cosmic rays is not easily seen. To detect muon, the oldest and most famous example is cloud chamber. Other radiation detectors can be used like giga counters, spark chambers, scintillators which give off light when an ionizing particle passes through them. The problem using a radiation detector for a cosmic ray observation is large amount of background radiation due to the natural decay of matter. To overcome this problem, coincident detection method is used, that is at least two detectors are needed placed one above the other. Cosmic particles travel at nearly the speed of light and hence passing through both detectors very easily, whereas the background radiation may not. Experiments at sea level show that when the telescope is mounted in the horizontal position, Few counts are made, whereas it is mounted in a vertical direction, many counts are recorded. The study of cosmic rays started with cold leaf electroscope experiment. It was found that if a properly insulated and charged cold leaf electroscope is placed, the charge leaked gradually. This happened in all places on the land, mines and sea. Study of variation of cosmic rays intensity with height at a specific latitude is called altitude effect. It is seen that intensity increases with altitude and reaches a maximum at a height about 20 km. Above this height, there is a fall of intensity. The experiment results are similar at different places of the Earth. Here I show the flight profile of NASA's RADX system. All results show that the cosmic ray intensity decreases at high altitude as well as at sea level. Latitude effect was discovered by A. H. Compton in 1933. It shows that as we proceed from the magnetic north to the magnetic south, the cosmic ray intensity remains constant until a magnetic latitude of 42 degree is reached. Then intensity begins to drop which is a minimum value at the Earth's magnetic equator. As the cosmic rays are charged particles which are affected by the Earth's magnetic field, thus the charged particles have minimum deflection at the poles and maximum deflection at the equator. Because of these many charged particles from the Sun and the outer space are trapped by the field in two belts called Ben Allen belts. The outer belt is constituted by the low energy particle like protons and electrons from the sun. The inner belt is due to more energetic ones from outer space. Thanks again for watching.